Hello everyone, this is Leif Spork. It's January 20th, 2023. I'm at the Gilmore Cemetery in Benzie County, Michigan, just outside of the town of uh, the community of Alberta, less than a mile from Lake Michigan here. And what we have here is the tomb, the grave of my great, great, great grandparents on my mother's side, my maternal grandparents. This is uh, the grave of the Smeltzers. William Smeltzer, who died in 1901, and his wife, Anne Thompson Smeltzer, who died in uh, 1891. And then I also have here is a little book, a book that was written by Anne Thompson Smeltzer, who is beneath us here. And uh, she was a, um, she was a Canadian born uh, daughter of Irish immigrants to Canada. And William was a uh, Irish born immigrant to Canada. And uh, Anne wrote a little booklet and a little story about uh, uh, her life and, and, and um, mostly about um, her husband's life, uh, William Smeltzer. And I want to read a little little portion here, a segment that uh, that uh, is, an, is an interesting part of the of their of their story. So she's she's talking about William here, um, and his, she's talking about William and the transition from Ireland, with its crowded population and crushing laws, to the liberties, dangers, and privations of a home in the wilderness of Canada must have been wonderful. Uh, must have been wonderful, calling forth all the wisdom, courage, and strength of the early pioneers. There was some sort of an uprising in Canada about the year 1836. I think it was Mackenzie's Rebellion. William Smeltzer served for some time as one of the Queen's Rangers. He did sentry duty and such work, but was never endangered, engaged in a battle. After he bought a piece of land and a yoke of oxen in Esquin, um, Esquesking, es, es, um, Esquessing Township, which is uh, near Toronto, he met Ann Thompson in the autumn of 1843. It must have been a case of love at first sight, as after a short courtship, they were married on December 18th of the same year. Um, John Paul, Anne Mercer, and Thomas were all born in Esquining. Those are the, so, well, three of their children. Um, they would eventually move here to northern Michigan in the 1870s and um, 1871 and um, and they would uh, uh, claim a homestead not uh, a little south of here on the Benzie County uh, Manistee County border but what is what is interesting is is their courtship and how they they met they met in the autumn and they were married by December and um, which would leave you know two or three months of courtship before they were married. And, um, you know, that, that, uh, we, we can all, we can all, um, think about that and how two people are meeting and, and courting and getting married. And here they are farming the land together, husband and his wife, creating a family. And they only, they only, uh, needed two or three months of friendship before they were married and now here they are together um, having uh, moved from one farm to the next immigrating to the northern Michigan creating a life here having children and it was all very successful for them it says right here virtuous woman her price was far above rubies